the last time you hit three home runs in a game? Honestly, I was thinking about that. Maybe Little League? I don't I don't know. I, I know I didn't do it in high school, but probably Little League. Just because we have to ask you, I know it doesn't matter. You want to, you want to win, but yeah, yeah. home run champion for now. Uh, what, how's that feel? Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I think, you know, I, Burke's going to catch me again, and we're going to go back and forth the whole season, and that'll be pretty cool. But right now, champion, and I'll try to, you know, just – ride with it as long as I can. Is it funny now, considering you kind of tied it yesterday for like 30 seconds? Yeah, and then he broke it, and then, yeah, yeah I thought he was going to do it again today, um, but I might make fun of him for it a little bit today and then forget about it tomorrow. It's just like you've been like quite a tear the last two weeks. Just what's kind of been the key to the success? Uh, just trying to stay humble, uh, trying to stay, you know, even killed, um, stay to my work that I do every day and try not change as much, um, and just trying to see good pitches up there, I think. Um, just on the offensive side and defense, just you know, trying to still do the same thing, keep the ball in front, make plays. What did you guys learn about yourself this weekend? Uh, but we will never ever give up against a team um, on the road at home. Don't matter. Um, obviously, they punch us in the mouth early in the game. We came back, they punched back. It was back and forth, um, and to beat this team, you know, they're really good. Um, you know, they might not have all the you know the glamour and all that stuff, but they they play hard, hard, hard nosed baseball, and um, you know, definitely was was a great game tonight uh, or today. So. Kind of sit out there on the outfield when y'all were beaten after this emotional win. Um, <laughs> just run, just just the boys being boys. That's all. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> What's it like to not only win a game like this, but to get contributions from so many different guys? Um, dude, I, I mean, this team has the amount of depth that that how, how, however much depth we want, we can have. We have guys on guys coming from different programs, um, guys who've been here, guys who grinded their their tails off to be in this position. So for guys like Peeves to come off the bench, get a get a sack fly and get a walk and then score is, is huge for us. Um, and he's someone that you know obviously was really you know high recruited, came here um, and has been struggling as of late, but got a great got had two great beats today that helped us win the game. So that's that that that's definitely huge. What did Kirby and Marcus do for you guys at the end? I mean Kirby being Kirby, you know the last what five years he's been here. I've been here. I've been with him for three. He does that all you know. Either give you one batter, give you six, give you four innings, don't matter. And, and Marcus coming in, closing the door was definitely good. You can definitely put him in different situations now, um, for sure. He started for us last week, coming in, closing today. So it definitely gives Coach V a, a lot of options. I know there's a couple of different pitchers, but were you looking for a specific pitch in, in your ABs that was going to Yes and no. Um, I knew you know one of them I was up in the count, um, just trying to get a heater. Um, one I was you know down in the count. Trying to get it, you know, knowing what they're trying to do to me, and um, I knew one guy was a really big slider guy, and I knew I was going to get it um, because you know that's what they want to throw me, and he he, he kind of just left the middle. V told us that Marcus will be the last guy to realize how good Marcus is going to be. Just how 100%. good can he be, and, and how big of a step is? I mean, you see the guy. I mean, he throws 97. He's not even trying, you know. And a lot of it, you know, it's him just having having confidence, you know, just just being that guy, and and, and that comes, you know, that. That, that comes with repetition and, and being out there and, and, and understanding that. So, but yeah, he, he's definitely the guy that I, I, if I was him, I would go out there and, you know, try to throw 102 with, with that body type. But, I mean, we're, we're not all the same, so. Go ahead, Eric. How, how, uh, how great was it to see KT being more like himself this week? And it looked like the swing was pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, KT's one of, if not one of our best, it may, might be our best hitter, um, just purely. You know, he doesn't swing at balls. Um, and he makes a lot of hard contact. Um, and for that to happen, I mean, I, to me, it didn't feel like he was struggling. Uh, I mean, this was a really good pitching team. They, they called a really good game. Um, he just had some tough breaks, and right there, he let it loose, had a really good at bat again, about eight pitch at bat, then a homer. Super huge for us, you know, leaning on the, their, their starter and then giving that, I think it was the go ahead or the tie, I, I don't remember, but go ahead, but super huge for us again. Just adding, we, we just want to add runs on Sunday, you know, and, and that's what we did. Thank you, man.